The Raider of the Monies. Hey coders, Money Raider here. Today we're going to be doing the third and final episode of the custom crafting series. In this video we're going to be looking at a mobile custom crafter. We're just going to have a couple of fixes to a bug or two and some features added. So let's hop right into it. So to create this mobile crafter you need to place down a block of netherite, place down an item frame, and a craft table in the item frame. And you get the mobile crafting table. Now, for an example recipe, I have added block of netherite to nether star exchange. Now you notice there that it suddenly moved down. That is because if I use F3 and H, you can see this doesn't have a tag. In the last custom crafting video, when the items come out here, they have a tag of crafted 1B. But because of that, when you took a crafted 1B item, you could put another crafting recipe in there, place this in there, and basically swap it out. So you could kind of do a duplication in a way. But now when it comes into your inventory, it simply finds it, summons a new item, merges that item with the slot that has the crafted 1B item, and then clears all the crafted 1B items and takes away the craft attack from the item. So you pick it up immediately. There's also now, there's shift click functionality. So if I do shift click, instant full stack. Now this, the way we detect this is basically detecting, hey, is there an, a crafted 1B item immediately in their inventory? And if there is, then it runs this loop that constantly clears this of one until there's no more left of that recipe. The way we have the invisible chest minecart is quite simple. It uses a method posted by Miss Sewed on the Minecraft commands discord, which basically all minecarts are invisible, except if they don't have a tag, which they then get a a block data which has a custom model that makes it look like a normal minecart. So that's complete custom models there. And then you just have it follow around. It uses my menu system from Data Pack Tools 3. And we have, we basically just copy the barrel crafting code over to a minecart and change some things. That's about it for today, folks. Sorry that it was such a short video. It's just there's not much different between this custom crafting and custom crafting episode three. If you want to go into the details, the pack is in the description for download, as well as the resource pack necessary for this. And as always, keep coding.